Yeah, don't know if I like this one, Valdez. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and I'll tell you why, really briefly. Up to the pressure of this rumble lane. Not feeling great about it, though. They're going to need it as we hop into the rift for game number three. Massive lead for D+. Plus. Three gold. Yeah. GG. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time. It's the third game in a row, too, where he's given R5 counter pick on jungle. And what that does mean is that, yeah, you can see the entire comp on both sides and, and make the best choice. As Bubble is going to come in here, that's a bit rough for Barrel, who might be in some trouble. Now they're just going to go all in as he presses Q towards him and burns him to a crisp. Barrel going to pick up that first blood. You silly D-plus bottom lane. He's going to press Q towards him. He's got a heal and an ignite. And yeah, Lucian does a lot, but Rumble does more. Meanwhile, Meanwhile what? In the top side, perfect, coming up with a solo kill. And KT, they say, this is our series to win now. Not yet. Is they're going to contest Scuttle here. Don't know about this. Lucid. Yeah, no. Um, Errol just, he, he's like, okay, I mean, if you really want to fight me, I'll give you a fight. But he overheats at the worst time because we have no flame splitter, spitter. And, you know, it's okay. I mean, they don't get the kill. They probably would have. Oh. Lucid. It's like, I'm trying desperately to hit six. Yeah, I want please, six. Please give me my jungle. Give me some. Oh, and the interrupt on the back here as well. Barrel's Comet comes through. Piotr's going to get this dragon. There is no punish here for Barrel. Like, Aiming wants to. But guess what? You don't win this trade. You never do. The you bubble never comes do. in and uh, nope. Another shield comes in. And Kellen will not be able to trade it back. With the help of the Ignite. And so much farm going by the wayside here. Top side 20 CS the advantage. And man, this, this Nocturne pick just gives you nothing. Nothing to stop top side, nothing to stop bottom, and BDD's just farming. Meanwhile, all right, gonna pull him out of the turret. Isn't enough with the Dominus, but he takes two turret shots. I think it should be with this all out. As no, he's gonna dash away from the Q, and he's totally fine. Ooh, this game is spicy. If you're a D plus fan, you are not happy with how this is going. Perfect has some rage here. Once set up for Pioshik. Yeah, Pioshik right here. Perfect, pretty low. No Dominus, but maybe the Vi can save him. And the stun combo comes through, and King in will go down. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. He did the gameplay, man. Gold for perfect. 800. Uh-oh. Maybe gone a little bit too far this time, Barrel. as finally we see the value out of the Nocturne. Presses his R. Knows that Barrel's powerful. Meanwhile, now he's ganking the top lane. And King, and he's like, wait, what the hell? Why is this guy here? Even casts his ghost. Doesn't matter. He just gets flashed on and killed. Drafted this Nocturne. Yeah, I mean, now you have to pay for it. That's what I was just thinking about too, because they're really gonna have to go back to the drawing board for game four as well. Speaking of which, they are gonna pass that paranoia in onto the Ash, who does flash away, but not enough help here. And now Pyoshik all alone. You see Death trying to help him here a bit. Lucid gets pretty low, and now a TP from BDD. Who's looking for a bit more? The flash Q and two people caught in the cage. But cleanse on through from aiming. He's not able to quite do enough damage. Pioche thinking about it, but it's another kill going the way of BDD. A huge value teleport. And perfect looking for a solo topside. Oh, Didn't even have to TP. Yeah, King and is he even going to cast it? Okay, he is. He's going to get him under the turret and now goes unstoppable. Doesn't matter. Perfect. Just way too far ahead in the stop lane. Yeah. So he went cleaver first. Kingen is just not going to be able to be around him. And also, Barrel is bottom right now, by the way. Uh, Kingen? Yeah, I think. Ooh, OK, they're going to respect it for now. I but mean, that's another turret for perfect. Safe to just take a turret down and get a big collapse here from DK onto this turret. But everybody on the side of KT now looking to get on in as the arrow is going to ring true. Death does not miss those. And that is the end of Showmaker. Even going to throw out an Emperor's Divide. They're pinging this. They know that King is in there, but the rest of the team is very far forward as Lucid gonna get one flash, but at the end of the day, it's just a dead King on the backside of this one. Now he's made of cardboard and uh, he is burned down. Barrel just pressing Q and he's like, all right, you think you can get me? I have flash, by the way, didn't have to use it. Perfect is level 14 and he is sprinting at the enemy team. Meanwhile, Posick going in, taking a 1v2 and winning. KT are so far ahead at this point in time. As one Q could get the job done, but not going to go into the Azir. Emotional momentum based team. This is going to be the arrow here on to Showmaker. Bata, 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 bata. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Four. That's another arrow. Oh boy, here we go again. And the combo is just utilized in Showmaker again. We've seen this before. He's going to use the Emperor's Divide just as like a, a parting gift. He's like, okay, see you later. 
It was fun hanging out, and now I'm dead. Uh, that's going to be the end of Kellen as well, as DK are really kind of falling apart at the seams. By arrows from Deft. He's like, you want to take this fight? Sure, let's go. I don't know about it, though, as he is going to be shut down. And now King is going to pull Pioshik over the wall. And immediately KT giving them some angles back into this one. I don't know why Lucid is here. But I, I've given up on questioning, you know, the logic of certain things in this series at this point. Lucid on Calculated. the run. Whew. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. Um, yeah, just, just, just flanking. Gameplay, individual player perspective. Could be rough is perfect. Yeah, he knows he's in trouble now as here is aiming and he's fed. He's tanky. Is he tanky enough? I mean, they're TPing into this as well, just to make 100% sure. And aiming will get the big shutdown. You see some pings on Baron, but we'll see how this one goes. They're gonna just try to burst it down essentially. Aiming on the front line, just trying to burst away barrel, and the culling gets so much value. The ash arrow is down. And the equalizer doesn't even get much. And now the peel with the ultimate here from the Nocturne, the Paranoia, and all of a sudden, DK, they give themselves a chance, but now. We got a very scary Renekton coming on in as we're just going to move forward and the flash is not good from Depth. They take out the entire bottom lane of KT. And now it's a 5v3. I don't know if they really want to go for this one. BDD pretty low as well. KT are still in a really good spot in this game, but we were right <laughs> in the obituary perhaps a little bit too early as D-plus make, D make some clutch plays, get some shutdown gold here. There's a Nocturne. He does not have his ult, but he has Flash, and it's just going to be a flip again, and it goes to the Nocturne! Again! Lucy going to steal that one away! As, yeah, they're kind of just food at this point, but Kingen going to pick up a kill himself. Over the wall comes Barrel alongside a perfect, but Gaming has some space now, putting in some damage. The cage is just going to save them, but... And then this year, he has Flash. TP's coming through, and they're like, well, we go for it. And once again, Pioshik messes it up. It's the fourth time. And then he's just telling everyone to back off. The Equalizer isn't going to be able to secure any other. All right, well, he's going to get the knock up on a barrel. He's dead, and the Equalizer is desperate. The angle here from aiming is beautiful. Alongside of his support, and now King is going to go super deep on this one. In goes Pioshik, and perfect. Desperate to take out aiming, but they can't quite do it. Flashing in front of the queue, but this Renekton may be just too gigantic on the back line, going up against Lucid, who barely gets the kill with the Stride Breaker. All right, Deft also in who this wins one, in this fight. I mean, the Q comes in. Showmaker. Uh, not going to commit, doesn't look like, but perhaps, you know. <laughs> BDD knows. Yeah, he's like, something doesn't seem right with the Sun Disc turret placed there. Barrel trying to find out about it. The stun comes through. Showmaker, he does more damage to Barrel for now, but he's got to get away from them. Very nice tidal wave from Kellen is going to keep him safe. Plus Lucid turning the lights off. Yeah. No, uh, not enough damage there from Barrel to take him out with the Equalizer. Yeah. Sieging, using the Hextech Soul. Barrel looking for an angle with the Equalizer. There it is. Going to hit pretty much everybody in the front line. Nice amount of chip damage just to allow them to push forward. Arrow as well utilized as immediate Mikhail's comes in. They want to hard engage to DK as the front line is just being melted. Down goes the Vi and Perfect nearly goes down as well through the Dominus. As right now, Showmaker and Aiming, if they can get in range, they will blow up a target as we just saw there. Nice angle for him. Just waiting for King to provide a front line. Then he joins up with ready to, Paranoia. I'm ready to enjoy the show, Valdez. <laughs> Sit back. Grab the popcorn. I know Chronicler, he brought some popcorn home from yesterday. He's <laughs> just sitting at home, probably munching on that. All right, BDD is just going to push mid now that the uh, Sun Disc is expiring. Showmaker spot. A little bit of a game of chicken, but does look like both of them will back off at the same time. Going to be able to get this blue buff globally reset here. KT, they already had it, but now can reset it. And that's going to be a reset on the Dragon as well. Showmaker yeah. is continuing to push, though. They have to be decisive, KT, here. Yep, they're going to start it up. And DK maybe just looking for the flip. That uh, could also be Nexus for Elder. We'll see how far he wants to go. He's not TP and into this one as there is vision in the pit and it goes to the Vagar, as you would expect. And Showmaker, he's still getting to work. They got to stop these backs. I don't think they're going to be able to. BDD TPs out of it and he will just barely be able to save the base. As the Elder go in the way of KT, they will win the fight. And Showmaker here, ooh, getting pretty spicy. I don't think he's going to win through the Elder and the stun. And KT, they just barely get the job done.
Another wild and crazy game of League of Legends for KT and D+. We're now up to oh, nine boy. of them this season. <laughs> nine crazy KT D plus games. No normal ones, just crazy ones. Just ones that you are on the edge of your seat gripping tightly. If you're a fan of either of these teams until the very end, you just do not know what is going to happen. KT had the advantage there. D plus decided to commit to the split push. It's not enough. The almost won it and then ultimately lost it. Like, I don't know what that does to you, whether you walk into it going, guys, it's okay. We almost, you know, came back in that game despite everything, and, and that gives you some extra confidence, or if it makes you even more frustrated that you almost came back and you still couldn't do it. 